The brothel smelled like alcohol, vomit, and sex. And the instant I walked in, I felt nauseous. We flew from Goma to an area called Beni, and we met this lady. Her name is Mama Kasonya. She runs a, a brothel called Kipe Yayo, and that's directly translated as Mind Your Business. To make money, she makes alcohol out of bananas inside the brothel. She has about uh, six to eight girls. Uh, she has about 20 customers a night. Elise is um, an 11-year-old girl who is a sex worker. Her parents have disappeared. They were chased away from their village in uh, another part of the country. She came to Benny to, because she had nowhere else to go, and she was walking down the street, and she met Mama Kasonia, and she said, come to my place, and I can help you find money. I met her the day before, and she was very reserved, very quiet. But then when I got there the next morning, and I walked in and, uh, she was just a completely different person. She was dancing and she was smoking and she was uh, screaming and yelling and laughing and falling all over the place. She was getting more and more and more drunk and uh, she started to lose her balance. So these photos where she's on the ground, she's just completely lost her balance. I don't know which one was her, you know what I mean? Like is she an 11 year old girl who's shy like most 11 year old girls are, or does she become this person because she has to be? They go and find somebody, like a client, and then they go and spend the night wherever they need to be, either at the brothel or at the man's house or in the forest. Sometimes they have several clients a night. They come back in the morning, um, they drink, they smoke, they dance, they go crazy, and then they pass out and they fall asleep until about 3 o'clock and they wake up and they do it all over again. It was actually quite emotional. There were several times where I was tearing up because these girls are young. Child Parliament is a group of children that live in Benny, which is the area where this brothel is. They advocate for the rights and the safety and the education for the children in the area. Third from the left is Belinda Mukome, and she's the girl that would be working for the rights of Elise. Uh, she's 17. Because of the child parliament advocating, the mayor of the town decided to close all the brothels in, in Benny. I think that it's interesting that these bunch of kids got all the way to the mayor who then said I'm going to close them down. 